Good morning, my friends. Today is Friday, December 15th. It's Friday of the second week of Advent. Um, I'd like to highlight the retreat we have coming up in February. Dr. Bob Schutz, Sister Miriam James, and Bart Schutz, Dr. Bob's brother, will be coming here to St. Isaac Jogues February 7th to the 10th. February 7th is a day of retreat for priests and seminarians. Uh, February 8th, 9th, and 10th, so it'll be Thursday, Friday evening, all day Saturday, is Healing the Whole Person with all three of those retreat leaders. And then, um, and that's for uh, people of all ages, men and women. And then uh, Friday morning, there's a day of equipping with Bart shoots on how to live in the Holy Spirit. You can find all of these events on the jp2healingcenter.org website. Tickets are going fast. We encourage you to sign up soon. I'd like to look at this first reading, especially today. Thus says the Lord God, your Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel, I, the Lord your God, teach you what is for your good and lead you on the way you should go. So sometimes we think God wants to take the fun out of life. The commandments are all just rules that I have to follow. And, you know, it, it, it's so hard to be a Christian. If you would hearken to my commandments, if you follow my, my law, my ways, your prosperity would be like a river. I love the image from Ezekiel that I bring up often that, you know, the trees planted beside the rivers, the leaves always stay green. They're constantly producing fruit. And that river is symbolic of God's grace, prayer, scripture, the sacraments. When we remove ourselves from God, that's when we dry up and, and don't produce any good fruit. And he says, your vindication, like the waves of the sea, your descendants. So it'll be not only good for you, but your descendants would be like the sand and those born of your stock, like its grains, their name never cut off or blotted out from my presence. So what we do today will have ripple effects in the future for, for good or for ill. You know, when I hear confessions of uh, the children, let's say from the school, not giving away any names, of course, um, a common confession is I disobeyed my parents. And I think of, you know, in our fallen state, we think we know better than our parents. And I was that way, you know, it's, it's just seemingly across the board. My parents want me to do this. I think I know better. I'm going to do something else. And the evil one's always there tempting us saying, this is what's really going to make you happy, not what your parents want. But as we grow older, we realize how smart our parents always were. And those who become parents realize, boy, I'm, I'm telling my kids the same thing my parents told me. Similarly, in the spiritual life, when we're immature in the spiritual life, we think, I know better than God. I'm not going to follow these church rules. You know, it's just trying to take the fun out of life. But as we grow and mature spiritually, we realize, wow, God's ways are better than mine. Following his will is better than my will. You know, following the commandments, living virtuously, staying close to Jesus in prayer, scripture, the sacraments, surrounding myself with good, holy people who help me become the best version of myself. That's where I find true happiness. So when I talk to the kids, I say, try going home today. And, you know, when your parents ask you to do something, get up and do it right away. Because so often we think, um, you know, mom's asking me to make my bed. Uh, I'll just keep playing the video game and, you know, not pay any attention. But it, that never ends well. But imagine what would happen if you got up right away and made your bed. Your relationship with your mom's going to be better. Think about that with God. God's asking you to go this way and not that way, to be virtuous and not to live in sin. It's going to go better for us. And those of you who are parents, I know how sad it is when your children choose things that aren't good for them, right? Think about the sadness of God when we choose things that are not good for us. He's saying, you know, follow this path. I, I know how to make you happy. I know how to give you what is good. And uh, so we need to prepare our, our, our parents because parents are the first teachers of the faith. And uh, the more the parents are equipped to lead their children to Christ, uh, the better this will go. You know, we can do a great job in our Catholic schools or religious education, but if it's not uh, reinforced at home, 
uh, studies show that it's, it's not going to last uh, very long. So let that be our, our prayer today that we plan ourselves by the river of God's grace, that we listen to God's ways, that we respond to his voice immediately. So Heavenly Father, we thank you and praise you for your son, Jesus. We thank you for giving us the church, the commandments, the virtue. Help us to, to see the good and to always choose it. For we know that following you leads to peace and joy beyond our wildest imagination. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please continue to like, subscribe, and share these videos with at least one person today. To your families, buen camino, and God bless you.